Welcome Capricorns! <sighs> Capricorns, this is the month of October and when I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back Capricorns. So I see the energy of eight. This is green. Um, this is emotion, some sort of an emotional situation. I see new love is going to be offered. I see caring connection is going to be coming in. And I see the angel of balance is coming in for you, Capricorns. So you have number 14, twice balance and the angels of balance. Um, so you have uh, your numbers is going to be 5, 8, 12, 14, 3, and 48. Okay. Again. 5, 8, 12, 3, 14, and 48. So it's a big month, Capricorn. There is no question about it. It is a big month. You have um, twice the energy of hate is here. Um, there is the energy of twice the energy. Of, oh, three times the energy of eight, Capricorns. Money, money, money. So um, you have a twice the Eight of Cups, um, some sort of an emotion situation for you young ladies between the ages of 18 and 45. You young ladies, there is some, um, some sort of a successful over you ladies. You ladies, um, a situation is going to be handed for you young ladies. So we see some sort of uh, information about you young ladies is going to be coming out. Um, some of you, if you're in a relationship, uh, I see the prince, the prince there coming in. So these are people between the ages of um, 18 and 30. The prince says the ones, children, um, children between the ages of no um, to 25 could be coming in also. Um, that is happening. I see you guys are dealing um, with... Um, um a woman whether this woman is i see some sort of a dismissal news is coming from this woman um and a tower moment is going to be coming in new love is going to be offered and i see the end for a um aquarian uh, aries uh, aries uh, um an aries leo or a sagittarian person so wonderful wonderful energies um Toro capricorn um, go back and look at the general reading. Um, the general reading, I see energy of uh, a boss, a fire sign. Um, it's a double fire sign for um, you guys doing uh, dealing with people in authority, people in power who has used their powers. Information is coming out. Uh, some sort of uh, information is coming out about your child. Um, that is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, or a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some sort of information about them are going to be coming out in the first week. Oh. Um, then we have fire, 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 fire. Oh my God, and the star. Oh my God. Capricorn is like you're cleaning up. Whatever is happening and transpire, you are cleaning up. Oh. I see you older people are going to be successful over a younger woman. This woman could be between the age of 18 and 45. Whoever this lady is and whatever she has done together with this fire sign woman, I see truths are going to be coming out. In order to find out who are these people and what has happened and transpired, you get to check out the extended. It's just a dollar ninety nine to connect with the extended reading. A dollar ninety nine. So to see the extended of this, join um and uh, it's just a dollar ninety nine per month. You have a monthly um abundment. You can see all the months from January um until this time love is the name of the game you're balancing out some sort of a relationship that was happening in capricorn um this is wonderful and positive the young ladies are going to be having some sort of a relationship problems if you are in a relationship i see a cancer wants to come back um to some of you i see they're going to be finding out the truth about uh, a um Aries, the or Sagittarian woman, and it's coming up for this person, and the truth is coming out. So you have three weeks of fire victory. Um, you're moving forward. You're going to be successful. A tower moment is going to be coming down, and you're going to be 
um, um, the star and coming out of a situation with looks and abundance. I see your work is looked upon and this is good. People at your work is really looking upon you at the work that you are doing and how powerful um, your words and your work is. And this is good. So you're moving forward. Um, you're overcoming some sort of a situation that a young Aries Leo or uh, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn has done to you. I see truth is coming out and I see love is going to be offered to you. Your, um, um, whether you work for yourself or you work for a corporation institution. The tower moment is here and I see a judgment call that is going to be releasing some of you from a situation coming up in the third week. Of, and the fourth week, double, double energy of the star. Oh, my God. So it is really going to be an extremely successful month. The energy of the star is a very, very powerful. It is uh, um, a huge success that is going to be coming in for you Capricorns in this month. So it is absolutely, absolutely powerful. Um, if you guys had some sort of a love relationship or some sort of a relationship that you are dealing with, um, I see, um, you could be turning your back or you could be, this relationship is going to be moving to another direction and this is going to be good. Um, if you are having issues with your partner, I see that this is going to be balanced out in the month of October. I see you both are connecting on a higher positive energy vibration in the month of October. And this is going to be good. So let's look and see what is transpiring. This month of October is about healing relationships, healing marriages, healing um, relationships, uh, moving on um, and letting go of uh, relationships that is not working. Okay, so in the first week, we have, it's a fire week. It's about moving forward. It's about something, you release yourself from something in the month of September, you're moving forward. I see you have victoriously overcome a situation with a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, and with a young Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. These people are in the reverse. You are victoriously overcome um, these two people, whatever these two people have done, I see truths came out and th these could be your children. Some sort of a problems is going to be coming up with your children. If they are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion or Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, some sort of a um, situation is going to be coming up. I see um, some of you are open for love and some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a message from a child in the first week of October. I see some of you older people are going to be, or some of you are going to be victoriously overcome a situation that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn has done to you. A young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn along with a Aries Leo or Sagittarian person and work against some of you. The truth is coming out and um, you are going to be successful over these two women and what they have created and how they have wrongly, falsely accused you and treated you. You're going to be overcoming this and this is going to be good. The second week is the energy of the sun is a good week. First week and second week is always good. Whatever you want to do, whatever you are planning to do is a yes, go ahead. Um, we see um, you are going to be receiving some sort of a successful news. A lot of you are hoping to love. Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see you're going to be successful over um, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And I see um, there, you know, this person is open to apologize to you. And um, the cycle is not yet over between you and this person. You are successful, but yet still this person wants to reach out and apologize. But um, they don't know how to do this because they realize that they could have uh, um, um, created some um, horrible situation that they don't know if there is going to be any um, new start between you and them. So it could be a child. Um, your daughter that has uh, have some sort of a conflict with you that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and you don't know if there is going to be any um, sort of a healing between you and this person. The sun is here and I see new love is going to be offered. A lot of people are going to be connecting to you because of your work. I see a lot of new 
people are really appreciating the work that you're do you're doing you're going to be finding out that in the second week um at the workplace i see people are really um happy with your work and really are really open up to give you also more work and sending people to you i see that people are going to be realizing that you are honestly working on a positive um energy vibration and this is good a tower moment is going to be releasing something so in the third week i see a tower moment could be coming down on you young ladies you are going to be receiving some sort of a information a tower moment ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 something could be unexpectedly leaving your life okay um so be aware for the rest of you older people uh, or young ladies that has nothing to do i see some sort of a thing that was blocking you the truth is going to be coming out and this block is going to be lifted up and your looks and abundance is going to be coming in to you and this is going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful um when we look i see some sort of a um, situation that was blocking you is going to be released a lot of people are going to be apologizing to a lot of you and I see new love is going to be coming in. I see an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius want to connect with you in order to, um, you know, give their excuses. However, that is coming up. We will see it in the third week, in the extended to see what this woman, who is this woman and why, what is transpiring. Um, but it's a woman who you have worked with or a woman who have worked against you. I see they're going to be coming down on this person. Um, so, um, whatever that was blocking you guys, the third week, um, it's going to be lifted up. The last week is the star, twice the energy of the star in the general reading, and you Capricorns also have the star and the relationship. If you had some sort of an issue with your relationship, that is going to be moving away out of your life and a, res a resolution is going to come in. You're going to be successful with, with a new love. Um, some of you um, are going to be having a new start with a Pisces. I see a Pisces is open to reconnect to some of you. Whoever the Pisces is, maybe you were in a relationship with the Pisces and uh, there was some problem. Um, whatever the Pisces has done, I see um, you are going to be overcoming the situation. I see the Pisces have regretted what they have done. You successfully overcome and um you are standing your grounds i see that this pisces or whoever this person is regret what they have done someone have done you some wrong um capricorns uh, and you you know that it is not yet over because you have not closed the door to this person but you are um um about to close the door and i think you just clear up the mess what this person have done you have not yet closed off so um, you or will close it off, but I see in this month of uh, um, October, you're just resolving whatever that has transpired. I see looks and abundance is going to be coming up and success is going to be coming in with your work, especially when you get to the last week. The last week is the most successful week for you, the second week and the last week. So this is um, really wonderful and really positive. As we look, some of you are coming in this month um, with some sort of a situation. Um, some of you, a young lady, could be your daughter, has done you some injustice. And I see you're getting over it. Um, whoever um, this young lady is, I see some sort of information is going to come to you or this person is trying to reconnect with you. However, this is happening and transpiring. Some sort of information that should have come to you. I see that I am um, uh, Pisces is still open. The Pisces want to reconnect with you, but do not know how to connect with you because the Pisces um, is trying to figure out if uh, um, you know what they have done to you. So whoever this person is, uh, um, this was an ex lover wants to reconnect with you, but they have done something very, very horrible and they're trying to figure out whether or not to. Uh, you um know what they have done i see new love is going to be coming in whatever is happening and transpire so be aware so the energy of the month is transition you're bringing back balance and transition in your world this is going to be very very powerful some of you could 
um and it's definitely going to be moving on some of you could be thinking about relocating or changing some sort of a situation that was happening in your world i see um um a, a young um taurus virgo or capricorn you young ladies are having some sort of a um, um situation where a new love is coming in this person looks like they are a cancer I see that some of you are connecting with a cancer. You young ladies are open for a relationship with a cancer, whoever this cancer is. I see some sort of a news is going to be coming in to you. You're going to be regretting a situation for a aquar um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. This could be someone who wants to work and collaborate with you. I see you could be receiving some message from this person that they want to work and collaborate with you. Are you going to be doing that? Um, I don't know. Um, I see a lot of you are in thoughts whether or not. Some of you, if your mom is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, you could be receiving some sort of a message from her. Um, the, the, and it, it could be a message asking for you to work with them or work with them in collaboration in order to do some sort of a um, situation. I see that this is uh, coming up and this is, um, you're going to be realizing this. Your luck, um, some sort of a luck is going to be coming up. Some of you are going to be having in some sort of a situation to have to do with a fire sign person. It's as this, this fire sign person, whoever this fire sign person is. Um, I don't know. You got to be aware of this person. We're going to be looking in the extended to find out who this fire sign person is because it's as if they are want to connect with you. Um, and it's a woman. Um, they, uh, has to do with your work, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring has to do with their work. And it's as if they're connecting to you because of some um, um, a balance or something like that. So be aware of who this person and why exactly they want to connect with you because people co will want to connect with you for some sort of a reason. Um, the energy of the star is always success. It's a double, double success. Something is leaving your life and, uh, um, a new start is going to be coming in. New love is here. Some of you young ladies could be finding out that you're pregnant for a cancer. So be aware of that. Um, some of you, um, young ladies, if, uh, your mom is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius, I see some sort of a problem, um, that is coming up between you and your mom. So be aware of this and what is happening and transpire because there is going to be some sort of a problem that is going to be coming up for you and your mom. You ladies, a tower moment is going to be, um, ladies between the age of 18 and 45. Some sort of a tower moment is coming that is going to be affecting you in the third week. Be aware of this situation. What is happening and what is transpiring because there's really, um, some sort of, a, um, um, obstruction. Um, and, and, and this is really good because, um, if you listen to me, um, whenever the tarot comes, it's releasing you, releasing something that was blocking you and releasing you from some sort of a situation or some sort of a person or people that was obstructing something or has worked against you and releasing that so that you can clear up some sort of a situation. The angels of love is going to be coming in and balancing out um, problems with your partner and your kids. Okay, so whoever was having some sort of a um, problems with your partner and your kids, I see the angel of love is going to be. So you guys need to work with the angel of love. Call upon the agents of love to help you um, with your uh, relationship and ask them for divine intervention. Um, I see some of you are going to be successfully over a, a cancer um, for something. A cancer has tried to either block your work or block you, block some sort of a situation. And you're going to be successful over a cancer at the end of the uh, month of October. You are going to be finding out that a cancer was trying to really derail you. And I see a tall moment came down for a cancer, whoever this cancer is. So um, please like and share these videos. Thumbs up. It is a huge success is coming in for you guys. There is no question about this. Huge success um, getting out and coming over some situation. 
it's really a loving month where I see relationships because this year was not good for relationships, but I see you're going to be healing relationships and is open for love in this month. I do love you guys. Please like, share, thumbs up. And um, please remember, love is the only thing that is real. You have three eights. Um, that means money is not going to be any problem. Three eights. Money is not going to be any problems. You guys have three eights and an offer of new love. A new love is going to be coming in. And a lot of people, um, if you change job and that sort of thing, a lot of people are going to be really connecting with you at the workplace. I have to say thank you for being here. I love you guys. Namaste until next time.